thought I'd start out on the front porch today and give everybody um, an update on the storm. Tempest says we have had nearly three inches since midnight. Not a big deal. You can see down there that the water is reasonably high in front of the gnome home, but moving fine. I think that was just my neighbor throwing out a bag of trash if you heard that noise. Uh, you can see the water up here in the woods running off from the street, which is what fills our creek and then you know makes it pretty high. So I've seen it higher, but it's pretty high right now. We have hours more rain to go, so saying we're going to hit five inches at this point at least is probably not an exaggeration. Only damage I see so far this morning, well, it might not be damage, but there's a big tree limb down um, right over top of the yellow flowers between the butterfly bush and the big um, Sasanqua camellia. It's down where we planted the bald cypress, so hopefully the bald cypress didn't get damaged. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Let me zoom in now as much as I can zoom in with this camera. And you can see a little bit more of the water there this morning. And uh, possibly the tree limb that I'm talking about. It's just to the right of that cat birdhouse that's on that tree. It's just over top of the yellow flowers. And then again over here in the woods. the um, water coming in from the you have to tell this camera to either point up and down or zoom in and out you can only do one at a time so it's sometimes it's I forget <laughs> I want to point down while I tell it to zoom in anyway we woke up to no internet and other than that we're okay Don um switched the house over to 5G, so now we have service again. We could have used Starlink this morning, for sure, if we'd have had it. The um, erosion over here is happening, but not horrible. You can kind of see where the liriope is that I planted. There's Marty and Stripe. Stripe didn't get in the house this morning because he couldn't get off the platform past Tux. Uh, Morris is up beside Tux. The size, the fact that I tried to uh, talk him into following me over to the Cat Hotel. There we go. Sorry about that. I got on this big bulky rain jacket and it's raining. Tux, eat the other side, honey. And once you're eating the chicken, eat the chicken. Let Morris have the Dry chow. Yep, put it right here. Go over to the other side. Go, go. There you are. Let's see how much rain the rain gauge says we've had. Oh, Dawn moved it. Okay. Well, it was fine where it was. Three and two tenths, it says. I don't want to empty it, though. If Don feels it's better there, I'll put it back there. So a little over three. That's close. This one, yeah, same thing. A little over three. It is raining, but I don't feel like my camera's getting too wet. Hold my hand over it for a second as I turn. And the wind's not too bad, and that's really the thing we're more concerned about at our house is always the wind, not the... Um, not the rain. All right. I do love you guys. Hi. Good morning. I'm really sorry that you don't have your Johnny today. Yeah. Pretty soon it's going to be me and you editing videos again. Yep. Yeah. It's raining. We've got some water. It's not too bad. There's a look at that tree limb. 
it's really probably on top of the bald cypress. Doesn't mean it hurt the bald cypress. Right, because that bald cypress wasn't that tall. Right, or it's probably got some flex in it. Yeah. It's young. Yes, it's not stiff. All right, we got another big limb down over here. <laughs> oh no, it damaged my rhododendron. <laughs> Don't you laugh, you're gonna be out there with a stick straightening my rhododendron back up. It Well, not necessarily. Oh, I gotta get this out, I don't care about. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a good bit you can't drive over that. You better care about my plant. If you're saying you don't care about my plant. Here, it's I'm... Fine. It's not looking fine. It's bent over. This camera with the rain on the windshield, it um, really won't focus outside the windshield. I noticed that in the last couple videos. I'm headed to Guardian Angel and, I, and Dawn's taking me. Because <laughs> I'm spoiled yeah yeah Don said he would have taken me even if it was only for 15 minutes oh wow it, it was even with the temporary bridge over there yeah you can't see anything on this side here but it was it was high yeah. well I mean we knew it was going to be high we just weren't worried about it coming over the top of the bridge you look left on your way back you'll see the water it's uh 15 feet wide and as high as the temporary bridge that the uh earth moving equipment was passing over yeah i, I, I think i caught it well like i said that entire area floods i mean i've seen seen the water the whole bridge i I don't know if I've ever saw it come over the old bridge, but it was certainly up to the bottom of the old bridge. The new bridge is significantly higher than the old bridge, so I don't see there's any way it's going to come over the top of that. I did not twist Michelle's arm to meet me. I told her her choice. She's got more bridges to go over the top of than I do to get to Guardian Angel, and I'm not worried about this new bridge because they've done such a good job. Yeah. Um, yeah. But she wanted to shop today, and so did I, so we're shopping. And it's really nice with that that banner down. Yeah, you can actually see the church banner. I, I just have to hope they just don't realize the safety issue with them posting that banner there. Even if they'd move it back like two more feet, it would make a big difference. Yeah. But, yeah. I've been putting it up for years, blocking the visibility. Yeah, it's just a little wet. So I wore my nice rain jacket out to the garage and left it in the garage. And then when Dawn picks me up, I'll put it on to walk back into the house. That's much better than trying to deal with an umbrella or carrying a wet rain jacket around in the store. We're just sorry we don't have, you know, couldn't pick up Michelle and make it better for her too. The open signs up. I checked Facebook. They, yeah. Like I said, they closed Apex, but not Fuquay. We get to walk the... Um, sidewalk down to the store That's so we right. yeah so you'll be picking me up at the shopping cart entrance when you come to get me yes ma'am yeah all right love you thank you You're i welcome. really appreciate you yeah have fun sweetie. <laughs> i got don a magnifying light and i bought a couple of um dvds blu-rays hey girl you didn't wash away getting here did you Yeah, with a lot less traffic? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Do you want to go into Thriftronics or oh, are you good I'm this? Good. Okay. I'm good right well, here. you know, I'd let you know if I saw anything you couldn't live without. Yeah, you would have bought it from me. That, that's right. We basically have the store to ourselves today. They opened, we came. Most of the staff was glad um, not to have a forced day off without pay. So, right. uh, next mood swing, five minutes, keep a safe distance. <laughs> This pattern down here is kind of nice, but I'm not seeing anything I can't live without over here. There's always good stuff to read though, one way or the other. And there's a good selection of precious moments today and there's always some willow tree, although maybe not as much today as some days. Look at that. Not all of it, but 
a good bit of it. Yeah. At least this one is. Yeah, that's really pretty. I can't justify taking it home, so I'm leaving it here, but it's hard, I tell you, it's hard. I already have those pieces and in the butterfly pattern. When doves cry. I spot good stuff even when it's on the one aisle over. It ha I saw a skeleton and like a sort of a half robot and that is pretty darn cool for a Hawaiian shirt. Very common for somebody to get rid of their entire collection of something. So now we have a real purple rain shirt. We might have hit the jackpot on Squishmallows today. And if there's any on my side of the cart because this is Michelle's side of the cart, I'm not allowed to tell you. <laughs> Michelle offered to drive me home. Thank you. Yeah, you got your rosary beads? I don't know. You've got your guardian angel right yeah. up here, so I... <laughs> he should protect me. I don't know. It's actually not a guardian. Is it a guardian yep, angel? Yep, it's a St. Michael. Okay. So hopefully... I'm giving Michelle a tour since it's not raining right now. Try to get Don down here to move that. I'm not going to let it stay on top of my tr on the top of the bald cypress too long. I mean, we got little branches and stuff down everywhere in the yard. It's kind of a mess, but... We've had worse. And there's the little the gnomes are not the gnomes are not being washed away, but they definitely it's wet outside the front door right now. <laughs> and I like your gargoyle. And there's no kitties near you. Keep cutting. You're good. Thank you. Bye. Love you too. Thanks for shopping. So you have some for me? I do. Oh, a ball cap. Oh, look at you. An Alabama. Oh, it's fitted. It's a real one. Oh, is that nice. In the very front on the bill, when you take it off, it says Crimson Tide. Yeah. No, no, right like here. Yeah. Right there. It does say Crimson Tide. Look at that. Yeah, it's an officially licensed. It, it doesn't is. look like it was ever worn. It's Nike. Yeah, it's the this real McCoy. A spicy hat. That was somebody paid serious queen. real real money for that hat. Yeah. And now it belongs to you. That's right. You done good. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. My tree's worrying me. So I've got Don out here moving it sooner than later. Well, if it is bent over but it's not cracked. Yeah, you're going to have to be careful picking it up on top of... Yeah, well, it's basically right down here in front. Ah. Yeah, I see that one on top is actually loose. There's the pole. There's your stick. All right. Well, just lift it up and off as best you can. I see it now. It looks okay. Oh, it's got lucky. It straddled it. The pole. The pole probably. Yeah. So I think it's okay. Yeah. I would say it's fine. Phew. Obviously, Don will come and yeah, come do a better her. job. It was just uncovering the tree right now. Yeah, she wanted to know about her tree. Yeah, and then when you come back through the little hydrangea down here, just get the tulip poplar off it, too. Yeah, this is one of those tulip trees. It's like the one, the huge tree we had taken out. It's the tree with the mercat on it, the, blue, the birdhouse, that's the tree that lost these two limbs. This limb up here is fixing to fall on the, um, I guess the hawks typically, let me try to line it up again. That limb is on its way down, but hasn't come down today. Hopefully when it falls, it'll miss the landscaping we put in. Yeah, it's on it. Thing this thing is designed for water. Yeah, it can have wet roots. It's not a problem for it. Yeah, it's it's not it's not damaged, so we're pleased. Probably all Don will do is when he's dressed better, he'll just haul this stuff away from here. But that doesn't have to happen right now. All right. Yay!
Like yep. Thank you, Donnie. Take care of that. And that I'll be just careful. But I don't have bug spray on. I know. I'm not asking you to haul it off, but Donnie, it is the one little branch is on my hydrangea there. So do. That's a small little thing you can just easily move off of it. Thank you. <laughs> it's going to be in the creek in a minute, just moving off one little branch, and I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah, and you're not going to be in trouble. You can just laugh at me. I guess inquiring minds want to go look around town a little more. Don's got to put the car back in the garage anyway because he left Jules out because he thought he was coming back to right. get me. Pick you up. Um, I enjoyed Michelle stopping by for a minute. Besides yeah. looking at the plants and walking the yard, I also showed her the 3D printer because her family's oh, thinking fine. about getting one. And I explained it was like a small microwave on its side. <laughs> yeah. But seeing is understanding the right. size better. So, exactly. yeah. Anyway, we're just going to go take a drive and um, check things out. Check things out. So right over in here is where one of the trees fell down across the road and I'm really just trying to understand if it was the tree that was leaning so bad. So I asked Don to just drive us to the greenway. When we turn the corner here we ought to be able to see if it was that tree or not. I can't tell. did not appear right there where I thought the one tree was, so I'm a little confused. But it has to be somewhere right there around that intersection because it happened basically right at the Exxon station. So if you just want to turn around and then take us the other way. I mean, Duke Power and the town are all the time trimming and cutting trees and stuff, but you know, there gets to be a few missed every now and then. Let me know if you think you see something, Donnie. I guess up here, there looks like there's a bit of debris across the road. Well, they said it happened it right at the Exxon station. Yeah, so, okay, so right here. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's the one. Yeah, well, I was, had explained to Don that this was multiple trees, like four or five large trees, were just north of the Harris Teeter. That was the Saturday tornado in Fuquay that had nothing to do with Debbie that caused that. Or downbursts of wind associated with the tornado that touched down confirmed a couple miles west of here. It really doesn't matter when you've got damage, if it's a tornado or a downburst, it's just not good. I told both Don and Michelle that we were not done with the rain yet, despite the fact that it had cleared up there for a little bit. Well, the I don't know if Debbie's crossed into North Carolina yet or not, but the tail that was out over the ocean as she moved up and west had the potential to spin some more tornadoes, because we're still under a tornado watch, and um rain so we've seen some scary looking pictures of the clouds that were over Fuquay around the time the tornado came through Saturday which was around the time we were getting home and driving through town except for you know I mean it looked wet but it didn't you know the better better is a weird word here but the better pictures are, are f from just outside the storm cell when you're in the middle of it you sort of don't maybe see some of the same cloud formations it's mr maple end of summer sale time open yes <laughs> oh wow check it out oh it's got some really pretty dark green leaves yeah this is um I don't remember, it's a fancy name, but this is a dwarf. I assure Don, it's a dwarf tree. And they called it a lollipop, a one gallon lollipop. And I think that has to do with the fact that it's gonna, you know, they want it, they, the way they've trimmed it is um, supposed to stay very compact. And it is uh, extra bushy. 
uh, the lots of leaves closer together than some of the other maples. I mean, look at it up up here. Yeah, it is. They're like bushy. it's it's very um, bushy, bushy, compact, close together, known for more leaves per branch than some of the others. Uh, so read us what the does it not have the little tag on the? Huh. Okay. Well, I'll go. I'll put up on the video what it is. It's just another one of those names none of us can pronounce anyway. <laughs> All I know is I don't have to dig a hole. She assured me this is a plant. This one is pot. really meant to go in a pot. It's not, I think in like 15 years, it's supposed to be uh, five feet. It's a very slow growing compact right. maple. Right. Time to do bag 14, which is the roof and the uh, little dome in the front. There is a person out there that has increased the height of the dome, but that might be too tall for where I'm going to put it. So I may or may not lift the dome. It's all done, including the uh, nifty skylight on top and the dome. Yeah. I like it.